Professor Adams. Today I will be speaking about the conservation of Australia's endemics and their threatened habitats. Habitat destruction is one of the leading causes of diversity loss. It is one of the main reasons why many of Australia's endemics are threatened. This map shows Australia's transformed areas. Very little of Australia's land is transformed relative to its size. These maps show the protected areas and the planning units used. A systematic approach was taken, therefore hexagons were used as planning units. The green areas show both terrestrial and marine protected areas. 55% of Australia is protected, 15% being terrestrial and about 41% being marine protected areas. For the analysis, 9 amphibians, 5 birds, 8 mammals and 3 reptile species were chosen as conservation targets. The amount of area needed to conserve each form of class is known as conservation targets. Mammals have a relatively large home range and therefore require relatively large areas. Therefore, 50% is set for that faunal class. For birds, the target has been set at 30% because they are mobile. Reptiles and amphibians have been set at 50% because they have a more localized distribution compared to other faunal classes. The objectives are to protect the endemic biodiversity of Australia, provide a framework for conservation planning in Australia, educate the people of Australia and the rest of the world about threatened and near threatened endemics, provide a sustainable use of energy in Australia. Now I will give you a look at some of Australia's threatened endemic species. The Tasmanian Devil, endemic to Tasmania, is threatened because of an aggressive non-viral transmissible parasitic cancer which affects the face. Meet Leadbeater's Possum. This adorable mammal is under threat due to loss of hollow bearing trees, wildfire and loss of suitable habitat. Meet the duck billed Platypus. Although not a threatened species, it shares habitats with species who which are threatened. The Australian brush turkey is threatened by habitat destruction. This is the hairy nose wombat. Today only a single colony remains, which is enclosed by a fence. This is to prevent the decline of the already low numbers. Meet the yellow chat which is confined to a relatively small area in West Australia. Meet the Yungella day frog, an endangered amphibian which occurs along small creeks in rainforests in West Australia. It is confined to a really small area.
is striped burrowing frog, a common sighting in West Australia. It shares habitats with many other threatened species. These two maps give the best solution for conserving all the conservation targets while using the least amount of space and at the lowest cost. With the first run, 16 species were unprotected. With the second run, only 2 species were unprotected. 100% of the targets were met that were set out. The percentages for all the faunal classes were met. The best solution map shows the solution for the run with the best objective value. Only a systematic approach was used to create hexagons for the country using ArcView. The Marks and extension in E362 was used to run the analysis. This video is a conservation plan aimed at grabbing the attention of the world to make away the fact that many of Australia's habitats and threatened species are under the threat of being wiped off the face of the earth due to human activities. The objectives are to protect the endemic biodiversity of Australia, provide a framework for conservation planning in Australia, Educate the people of Australia and the rest of the world about threatened and near threatened endemics. Provide a sustainable use of energy in Australia. I hope I've encouraged you to assist conservationists worldwide in order to preserve Australia's endemic biodiversity. Thank you for watching this video and remember, your bit helps.